In this video, I will introduce you to the Adobe Lightroom Classic interface. For now, we are just taking a tour so you can get familiar with the general design, workflow, and vocabulary. We will discuss how to use these tools in later videos. The first time you launch Lightroom, a default catalog is automatically created. A catalog is a database that tracks the location of your digital files but it's important to understand that a catalog does not contain your actual files. Instead, it's more like a mapping system that keeps track of your file locations. It also keeps track of the edits you perform, but Lightroom Classic does not change your original files. Your original files are preserved. A catalog is a separate file and not the same thing as the Lightroom Classic application. You can create multiple different catalogs to use with Lightroom Classic, but you cannot use Lightroom Classic without a catalog open. The interface is divided into various modules, which you can select from the module picker. Each module allows you to work on different tasks. You will start in the library module and then move through the other modules based on the task you want to complete. The library module is primarily for organizing and selecting images. The develop module is for making adjustments and improving images. If your camera uses GPS, maps module can show you where the images were created. The remaining modules are used to prepare images for different uses. In the middle of each module, you will see the preview area. That's where you will see your images or whatever active task you're working on. On the right and left, you will find panel groups. The groups change with each individual module. Open the panels by clicking the disclosure triangle. In the library module, the left group contains panels for organizing and moving files. You can see your entire catalog, specific folders, create collections of images without making duplicates, and publish your images to online services. In the right panel group, you can find options for quick edits, but it's better to perform these tasks in the develop module. The most useful panels here are for adding keywords and metadata. Adding keywords to your images will help you sort and find images by the topics you choose. This helps you manage and find images more easily. Let's pause to consider the value of good file management. Your image files are valuable assets and the product of your hard work, time, knowledge, and creativity. As a potential professional, you should learn to organize and protect your assets. You should also make it a practice to respect and protect the ownership of other creative professionals. So let's get back to the catalog. In addition to location, the catalog tracks metadata. Metadata is data that provides information about other data, but it's not the actual content of the data. For example, a digital image file is the data, and the time the image was made is the metadata. Some of the metadata is automatically provided by your camera, such as image size, format, and date. You can add metadata in the side panel, such as author's name, copyright, and keywords. If you hover your cursor over a panel title, then right-click the mouse you can customize which panels show. You can also expand or collapse all of the panels at once or choose solo mode so that only one panel is open at a time. Solo mode can save time that you may spend scrolling through open panels to get to the one you want. As you are learning, it may be helpful to keep all of the panels open so that you can quickly see the contents and learn the location of the tools. If you want more screen space for working, you can also hide or show the panel groups by clicking at the side. If you right click at the triangle, you can try out different options for how the groups hide or show. 
I like this option here, Auto Hide and Show. In that option, the panels are hidden until you move the cursor to the side. Then the group hides when you stop using it. To have the group open longer, just click on the side. Click again to revert back to Auto Hide. At the top of the preview area, you will see a filter bar. The options allow you to find images based on various criteria. For example, you can search by metadata or keywords that you added. Underneath the preview area, you will see a toolbar. In the library module, the toolbar contains options for viewing and comparing images, as well as for adding metadata to mark your best images. The toolbar can be customized by clicking on the disclosure triangle on the right. The toolbar options change with each module. The last area I want to show you is called the film strip. The film strip will show all the images within the selected library folder. You can select and order images here, except when the folder is a smart collection because reordering is not supported. The film strip allows you to see all the images even when you have a single image selected and showing in the preview area. This is very useful when using the compare or survey tools. As you move forward to other modules, the film strip with the same images follows you. This is very handy when you want to edit a specific project or when you want to select multiple images for printing. As with the side panels, you can hide or show the film strip so you can have more screen space for working. All right, now it's time for you to do some exploring on your own. Open and close each panel to see what it contains and get familiar with the library module. We'll discuss how to use Lightroom Classic to manage and edit your files in future videos. Now that you've explored the Lightroom Classic interface, can you answer these questions? What information does a catalog store? Does Lightroom Classic contain or change your original files? What kinds of metadata can you add? How can you restore a panel that's been hidden from a panel group? How can you change the images that show in the preview window and in the film strip?